Opening title fades in. Black background with white lettering. Just incredible. Colon. Question. Is hip hop really art? Title fades out to black screen. All 4K HD quality. Frame in from the waist to the top of the head shot. Just incredible is standing in a back hallway of a building with high light green walls, light charcoal, light brownish doors. He's directly in the middle of the hallway with two blurry gold frame paintings on both sides of his shoulders. As he talks, the camera slowly zooms closer and closer to him. Just incredible is five feet, nine inches tall, has medium brown melanated skin, a shaved bald head, a light goatee, and dark brown eyes. Just Incredible's nationality is African American. Just Incredible is wearing a navy blue v-neck t-shirt with the phrase real written in the front middle in big bold all caps white lettering. Dark blue denim jeans, small gold studded earrings, two black beaded bracelets, and a silver tungsten wedding ring on his left ring finger, a brown leather punk rock wristband, and a black beaded bracelet on his right hand. On his left arm, he has a fairly large black 2008 The Dark Knight Batman symbol tattoo with the words Give It All written under it in all black. On his right arm, he has a fairly large black 1989 batman symbol tattoo with the words fear nothing but god inside of it in all black my name is just incredible i'm born and raised in the state of florida usa i'm here today at the cc and hyatt brown museum of art which holds the largest collection of florida themed art from artists from around the world my mission is to exhibit and demonstrate that hip hop is an art form and it should be valued. Scene cuts to a black background with white lettering revealing the title, Love. There are two camera views throughout the scene. One front still stationary tripod camera and one mobile camera circling around 180 degrees. Stationary camera's frame is set from the waist to a little above the head. Just Incredible is standing evenly spaced out side by side with Florida poet and creative writer Shayna Castaño, aka Simba Castaño, from the nonprofit Exodus United. Simba is holding a white poster with the word love written on it. She is five feet six inches tall, has fair olive skin long curly dark and light brown hair pink pouty lips and hazel eyes simba's nationality is armenian french and italian she's wearing a black long sleeve blouse with maroon colored leather bubble vest zip up jacket gold hoop earrings and a gold necklace with six gold charms they are both standing in a room with red walls and three paintings behind them. One large silver framed painting in the middle of two small gold framed paintings. The large frame painting displays two women, either mother and daughter, sisters or friends, walking ankle high alongside a beach with long white dresses on. The sky is light blue with large white clouds above them. The women seem to be having a close proximity conversation while pulling up their dresses to avoid the bottom of them getting wet. Single-handed, the most powerful element on this planet, can't understand it. Some try to hide it, it can't vanish, it can't manage. Some try to fight it, you can't stand it. And if you take it for granted, trust me, you will end up stranded. Sometimes it has you spinning in circles, reminiscing on women that hurt you, tripping, slipping, forgetting your curfew, forgetting who birthed you, beginning to listen to heaven, begging for God to never let this feeling desert you. Some say that it's passion, pure attraction, or actions, attachments, we can never break down the fractions, microscopic fractions, 
fragments sealed with a kiss. Whatever you want to call it, baby, this is as real as it gets. Commonly mixed with lust. This can only exist with trust. It's all about taking risks with guts to listen, respect, connect. No holding grudges. No budging. Nonviolent. It's not silent. Spending quality time. Something that you hardly could find is anti-racist. It's faceless. A warm smile, kissing a hug. Brown eyes glistening with no intention to judge. Unconditional love is something I would die for. Always ride for. Fly on I-4. Crying till my eyes sore is really something that I live for. The reason why I give more and I choose to forgive all y'all. Scene cuts to a black background with white lettering revealing the title, The Current State of Hip Hop. There are two camera views throughout the scene. One still stationary tripod camera and one mobile camera circling around 180 degrees. Stationary camera's frame is set from the waist to a little above the head. Just Incredible is standing evenly spaced out side by side with videographer Malcolm Shabazz. Malcolm is holding a white poster with the statement, the current state of hip hop written on it. He is five feet, 11 inches tall, has medium dark brown melanated skin, a short, dark, clean haircut and dark brown eyes. Malcolm's nationality is African-American. He is wearing a pair of semi-thick black framed glasses, a backwards dark grayish black adjustable cap and a long sleeve polo zip up jacket. They are standing in an open room with white walls and three paintings behind them. One large silver framed painting in the middle of two small gold framed paintings. The large silver framed painting displays a tall, lean, athletically built black male dressed in light blue jeans rolled up to his calves. He is shirtless. He is walking along red clay dirt with a silver pail in his right hand passing by a small alligator walking in the opposite direction. The sky is clear and cool blue. Every artist has a marketing plan. That club bit, that love bit, that thug bit, that drug bit, all for targeting fans. The whole label is all a part of the scam. Promote them and have you love them like they're a part of your fam. It's ridiculous how this business can flip us and switch our lyrics up, fix us up with these gimmicks and images tricking us with these stereotypes and fantasies. Of course the public can't relate to the stuff they saying, so they forced to love it. Brainwashing to believe in these icons and heroes. These tight wide the Nero's, pythons, cons, and zeros that wanna slang cane and put the hawk in your mouth. Finally, it's that same brain that Pac was talking about. For this season I rain pain and then I'm washing them out. Leave these phonies and lames drain and then I'm chalking them out. Take a look at the change game is getting dark in the south. Abolitionists maintain. I lit the spark then I'm out. Hip hop slaves only concerned about whips and chains. Get on the mic they all sound alike and spit the same. Nothing original just clubbing getting chips and brains. Y'all looking stupid chasing glitz and fame. You so lame. I got balls like a city jail. I spit fire like I live in hell. Got a sick flow though I'm living well. I'm a surprise million dollar check in the mail. I'm Tupac's notebook when he was in a cell. And I ain't taking no verses to the grave. So with that pen, I'll be working like a slave. Changing the world has always been my version of the game. And most rappers don't interpret it the same. On that microphone, feel like a line of coke burning through my veins. I feel like I can run from Germany to Spain, then Turkey to Ukraine. So focused, so determined, I'm a lane. Going super saiyan, bursting in the flames. Never swerving in my lane. Man, I learned this through my pain, through my hurt and through my shame not the surface of my brain then my purpose isn't fame i ain't working for no change or to go splurging on a burgundy suburban or a range i realize i'm doing more than just spitting rhymes i'm infiltrating minds and influencing the times to put it simply i'm talking about history when i go i gotta die empty since elementary i knew there was something deep down up in me it's greatness evidently drive of a bentley mind of an mc growed up in florida soul of a warrior i'm fighting the evil that's trying to miss lead you. I'm fighting for the people. I'm fighting because I need to. Somebody needs to. Hope this is inspiration for future generations, fellow believers and revolutionaries in the making. Let's take it. Scene cuts to a black background with white lettering revealing the title family. There are two camera views throughout the scene. One front still stationary tripod camera and one mobile camera circling around 180 degrees. 
stationary camera's frame is set from the waist to a little above the head. Just Incredible is standing evenly spaced out side by side with security serviceman Christopher Wynn. Christopher is holding a white poster with the statement family written on it. He is five feet, seven inches tall, has lightly tan olive skin, a short, dark, clean haircut and black eyes. Christopher's nationality is Vietnamese. He's wearing a pair of thin silver framed glasses, a white button up dress shirt with a black tie and black blazer. They are both standing in an open room with light greenish tan walls and four paintings behind them. Two large gold framed paintings evenly spaced out next to one small gold framed painting above a small silver framed painting. The two large gold framed paintings display two Native American families. From the audience's view, the left painting, a Native American mother sitting alongside two children and a father standing by a fire outside of their home. The sky is light yellow and the time appears to be sunset with a lot of tall trees surrounding them. The mother is wearing a red, white and gray garment. The children are wearing white, blue and orange clothing. From the audience's view, a Native American mother is sitting holding her infant child in front of a body of water trees and a field she is wearing a blue yellow and red robe with her child wrapped in a multicolored quilt the mother has light brown skin with large wrapped black hair wrapped to the side the smaller gold and silver framed paintings to just incredible and christopher's left side are a little blurry but appear to display images of native american families right outside of their homes surrounded by trees Mommy, you carried me nine months. To carry me, I'm just forever thankful and speechless at times. Your sweetness, uniqueness, all of your physical features of mine reflected. Your soul releases, it shines through your big brown, beautiful puppy eyes. Cause daddy me doesn't lie. My anatomy's other side. Daddy's a lucky guy. So happy and funny kind. Never thought I'd find the words to say how I love a smile. Today, how my mother's proud. You raised yet another child. This love has been genetically passed down from heaven so it could never be cast down. It flows in incredibly fast now honestly this woman is stronger than most could ever be hands down we were never evicted wasn't poverty stricken food was always in the kitchen listen you was there for me and whatever position i was with unconditional love xoxo kisses and hugs because when i was in trouble you rescued me i was vulnerable but you protected me thank you for blessing me not thinking anything less of me especially for this legacy and no g's in 73 my pops was pushing the brand Brown caddy down Liberty City, right where Kim Jones found daddy. No average man, full of confidence and common sense. Sometimes I wish that I could be half this man. Glad this man decided to raise me, made me, gave me a sample of hard work, an example of God's work. So determined to see me through, gave me inspiration and information made for the CD too. Thank you for sacrifices I don't know, protecting me, never leaving, evacuating, for being at graduation, listening to my ambitions as a rider, shared advice, taught me to pay attention to the driver now look daddy your older son is growing up now finally your older son is blowing up now i found my way got out the house of pain wiped away my tears and every ounce of shame doing my thing jay lane scene cuts to black background with white lettering revealing the title motivation for artists there are two camera views throughout this scene one front still stationary tripod camera and one mobile camera circling around 180 degrees. Stationary camera's frame is set from the waist to a little above the head. Just Incredible is standing evenly spaced out side by side with Florida poet and creative writer Shayna Castaño, AKA Simba Castaño from the nonprofit Exodus United. Simba is holding a white poster with the phrase motivation for artists written on it. She is five feet, six inches tall, has fair olive skin, 
long curly dark and light brown hair, pink pouty lips, and hazel eyes. Simba's nationality is Armenian, French, and Italian. She's wearing a black long sleeve blouse with a maroon colored leather bubble vest zip up jacket, gold hoop earrings, and a gold necklace with six gold charms. They are both standing in a narrow white hallway with eight gold framed paintings on each side of them. One black framed painting on their left side. Each painting displays Florida nature. I had to turn my radio off. Too many corny voices in my head, it was kinda like poison to my lead. My pen and pencils were not moving. I was not producing. Creative juices were fruitless. The blank pages on my notebook wouldn't refute this. No excuses for my slothfulness. I can't admit I played a huge part in this. This wasn't hard to miss. This is my call and gift. This is from God legit. It's my time, my moment, my season. No lie, I flow, it's no secret. I grind, I sow it, I reap it. I'm thriving, I'm growing, I'm peaking. My mind so focused, I see it. This is nine years in the making. From the Mind clear revelation. I was blinded by procrastination. On the sidelines with my assignment for rapping greatness. Was lazy, a total disaster waiting. Blatant, mind rattling. I've been time traveling. Feels like I disappeared for years, but nowhere near my peers. But now I'm back on the right track just like that. If you study my music, you truly be in tune with where my life sat. Read between the lines. Heed the beats and rhymes and you'll find out everything you need to know about me. But my whole life is not about me. So I apologize to my supporters. I settled for being low key. I was afraid of old friends, haters, and phonies. Afraid of failure. Afraid of success. Afraid of jealousy from people who don't even know me. Afraid of believing lies that others told me. Afraid of swagger jackets taking my lyrics and stealing a couple bucks from me. It really doesn't matter, but I'm flattered that you really look up to me. See, I'm copywriting now, so you can bite my text. You just make sure that you write my check and pay your respect. This is the soundtrack to my bounce back. Don't you? Dead burn it like an ounce sack. I'm giving you 102%. Too legit, you can count that. I was slacking off. But now I'm in a lab with a pen and a pad scratching the classic off. This is real. This is passion. This is flow. All imitating my life. Just incredible. Let's go. Scene cuts to a black background with white lettering revealing the title Near Death Experiences. There are two camera views throughout this scene. One still stationary tripod camera and one mobile camera circling around 180 degrees. Stationary camera's frame is set from the waist to a little above the head. Just Incredible is standing evenly spaced out side by side with security serviceman Johnny Bruce. Johnny is holding a white poster with the phrase near death experiences written on it. He is six feet tall, has light olive skin, faded and short slicked back salt and pepper colored haircut and hazel eyes johnny is caucasian he's wearing a white long sleeve button-up dress shirt a gray white navy blue and royal blue striped tie with a black blazer they are both standing in a room with coral walls and five paintings behind them four gold framed paintings spaced out below one gold framed painting the above and outer two gold framed paintings are almost halfway cut out of the shot. It is unclear what is displayed on any of the five paintings. From the audience's view, the painting on the far right hand side, a portion of it appears to be displaying a forest during sunrise or sunset. It's believing the impossible. Defeating all your obstacles, like March 25th, me leaving the hospital, or January 1st, 2007, handguns in my face, point blank, none on my waist, or 2010 when cops followed me. Wrong identity, bout to put an end to me. Or when mom and pop stopped me from jumping off the balcony, 10 stories when the devil hounded me. Every time that I breathe, it's a miracle. So this is literal, physical, or spiritual. From scraping couch change to buy groceries to me and my wife taking trips overseas. I'm real rap raw, nothing changed, still at it. Hard to kill, balls of steel, feels classic. Nah, still matic. Smart skill practice, hard will, passion. God still has some miracles. 
Scene cuts to black background with white lettering revealing the title Romance. There are two camera views throughout this scene. One front still stationary tripod camera and one mobile camera circling around 180 degrees. Just Incredible is standing evenly spaced out side by side with museum director Tori Carter. Tori is holding a white poster with the phrase romance written on it. She is five feet, seven inches tall, has fair skin with freckles, has long, dark, silky hair wrapped in a low bun and dark brown eyes. Tori is Caucasian. She's wearing a white and black striped blouse with dark blue jeans. They are both standing in a room with light green tannish walls and five paintings behind them. Two large gold framed paintings spaced out in between three other gold framed paintings to their left. One large gold framed painting, which is cut off from the stationary camera's view and to their right, one small gold framed painting above a medium sized gold framed painting. The two large gold framed paintings in the middle fully display side profile portraits on their left hand side, a Native American man and on their right hand side, a Native American woman. They are both wearing semi formal multicolored attire outside with clear blue skies in the background. The portraits are facing each other. Before we start to get all up in the program about the office romance, I thought it had no chance. From both of us, you can quote, man, she wasn't my type, nothing I liked, I pushed her away with both hands. I found my favor as soon as you hit the set, made an offer you couldn't regret at the movies with your Seth. With no game, spitting fire like an AK, invited her to great faith, arrived not a day late. I was calling, you got the message, through all the past pain and wreckage, you made the effort. You paid attention to the lesson, many men have broken your heart, but the Lord restored and blessed it. It was a wrap later on when I cooked for you, set my trap. Finally, I then met my match from Burlington to a wedding. Who would have known it was a match made in heaven, July 1-7? Okay, let's talk about the process. More or less the faith project when we were first dating, I guess. It was beautiful, quick, moving like an IS. Some ridicule, persecution to digest. At crossroads, when in Porsche mode, had to make it out. Trials, fear, and doubt had to lay them out. Count up the cost, of course it was uncomfortable. Some days I didn't know what to do and it wasn't cool. We wasn't the Huxtables, no substitute. I was surprised. In real life, I was in love with you. Wasn't afraid to say I love you, boo, in front of someone's crew. Didn't front in front of you. You know what it do. My honey pooks, my buddy and buddy too. It ain't nothing new like DJ L's on the one and twos. One man's ex is another man's treasure. I say one man's stress is another man's pleasure. Scene cuts to a black background with white lettering revealing the title, Children Living in Poverty in the U.S. There are two camera views throughout this scene. One front still stationary tripod camera and one mobile camera circling around 180 degrees. Stationary camera's frame is set from the waist to a little above the head. Just Incredible is standing at the corner of a dark coral hallway evenly spaced out side by side with a teenager named Devin King. Devin is holding a white poster with the phrase children living in poverty in the U.S. written on it. He is five feet, six inches tall, has lightly tanned skin with freckles, a curly, dark brown and red colored faded haircut, and brown eyes. Devin's nationality is African American, Native American, and Caucasian. He's wearing a black crew neck t-shirt. They are both standing at the corner of a dark coral hallway and a white hallway. On the dark coral hallway, there are three gold framed paintings. One large painting in between Just Incredible and Devin and two medium sized gold framed paintings placed on top of one another on Devin's left side. The large gold framed painting displays a semi strong looking two story wooden home with a red brick chimney surrounded by trees with an African-American man sitting on the porch and an African-American woman standing near him. 
it appears that the man and woman are the homeowners and they are in conversation after a long day of work. The front edge of the roof appears to be deteriorating. The painting on Devin's left-hand side displays an extremely small white house with a wooden front porch surrounded by plants and trees. An African-American man wearing a pair of black framed glasses and a black suit with a black tie and white button-down dress shirt is sitting in a wooden chair on that porch. Under that painting is a painting of a home surrounded by palm trees and strong bright green grass. The sky is bright blue and white. A large gold-framed painting in the white-walled hallway to the right of Just Incredible displays a river captured horizontally with lots of trees and shrubbery on both sides. The sky appears to be light yellow. Don't you ever be ashamed. Pay attention to the method of the game that's embedded in your brain. I know this world lets you at the bottom of the bucket and they want to see you drown, but you got to raise above it. Even if it means not to the public, social media, not the topic of discussion. I don't want to see your hood fights on the Internet. I want to see you getting checks. Praise for your intellect. Pulling up to your high school intellects. Working part time pay plus benefits. Recognizing surviving's in your bones and you shine because the diamonds in your soul. I know you probably tired of seeing these armed robberies blood crip mexican mafia robberies mom's working nine to five and pops working five to three but still living in poverty getting home around the time that it's time to eat trying to eat around the time that it's time to sleep stomach and knots this week thought about hustling rocks for cheap told yourself that that's not for me consciously said you never be a statistic or fulfill another prejudice prophecy you staying true to yourself on these blocks and streets even if it means you could be shot deceased 100 little young and I just want to tell you that you mean a lot to me more than diamond rings or designer jeans carrots on my chain good credit to my name what I'm trying to say is y'all are precious blessings no question worthy of love respect and protection the same education as the Hamptons same economic and local community advancement someone to tell you you're beautiful you're handsome you're worthy of a dope I love you anthem because even Jesus was ghetto fab and he was helping the lost get home like a yellow cab children of the ghetto keep your head up high don't be afraid to cry don't be ashamed to try because you were made to fly scene cuts to a black background with white lettering revealing the title storytelling there are two camera views throughout this scene one front still stationary tripod camera and one mobile camera circling around 180 degrees Stationary camera's frame is set from the waist to a little above the head. Just Incredible is standing in a light green tannish room evenly spaced out side by side with a teenager named Devin King. Devin is holding a white poster with the phrase storytelling written on it. He is 5 feet 6 inches tall, has lightly tanned skin with freckles, a curly, dark brown and red colored faded haircut and brown eyes. Devin's nationality is African American, Native American and Caucasian. He's wearing a black crew neck t-shirt. They are both standing in front of five paintings. Two medium sized gold framed paintings on the outside. One smaller gold and one smaller silver framed painting in the middle and one medium sized silver framed painting above them. Each painting displays dark clouds, tropical storm or hurricane-like weather, palm trees, bushes, and other trees bending and ocean waves crashing. If you were looking from the outside, it would appear from the surface that this home wasn't flooded with tears and curses. But I make it clear through boss hooks and verses what went on here. These scars look disturbing. Observe him a little bit before ninth grade. 
A little handsome kid had an eye fade. He was insecure, couldn't defend his cause, so every insult cut him like a knife blade. Was raised right, took some shortcuts, following friends. Disappointed, but yet still bottled it in. Mom and pops working overtime, didn't see the personality, the sort of form in overtime. Him and his girl broke up, he was doped up, out of his mind, show enough, enemy showed up. I remember those days, so notorious. Thank God he got out of there so victorious. Every flick of my tongue was similar to the click of a gun. You wouldn't believe half the things I would say in my house. Running around with a live grenade in my mouth, throwing up, blowing up. But every Sunday, put on an act, a young hypocrite, growing up, good at faking them out. I would live one way, one day, another way, another day. Start an argument, leave, come back, run away. I would run a raise, but stop at Greg's, two shots to the head, rolling up the smoke of blunt, spent the whole summer blazed. Man, I was in my dumbest stage. I was having fun with rage. Pops was reading one thing, mama's on another page. Come to think about it, this story could have been on the cover page. Yeah, I could have been a Marvin Gaye, but thanks to God's grace, your boy Jay Lang is spitting bars today. Scene cuts to a black background with white lettering revealing the title Politics and Racism. There are two camera views throughout this scene. One front still stationary tripod camera and one mobile camera circling around 180 degrees. Stationary camera's frame is set from the waist to a little above the head. Just Incredible is standing evenly spaced out side by side with security serviceman Christopher Wynn. Christopher is holding a white poster with the phrase politics and racism written on it. He is five feet, seven inches tall, has lightly tan olive skin, a short, dark, clean haircut, and black eyes. Christopher's nationality is Vietnamese. He is wearing a pair of thin silver framed glasses, a white button up dress shirt with a black tie and black blazer. They are both standing in an open room with white walls and eight gold framed paintings behind them. Seven variously sized paintings placed horizontally displaying Florida outdoor nature and one portrait of a Caucasian male appearing to be a military official. He is wearing a black and gold formal military uniform. The eighth painting is a large portrait of another Caucasian male appearing to be a military official placed above the other seven paintings. This man is wearing a formal black and gold uniform and is holding a shotgun. I know a city that's so condensed and drenched with a stench of dead bodies and hot blood is so intense. Don't make sense. Junkies on a bench. Ladies and gents, just to fix this up, you're gonna need more than another wrench. No simple hand wash or bucket rinse. I'm convinced there's evidence and prints of this epidemic ever since the glitz and glamour. Clips on cameras. Daddy dollar switched to grammar way before the blicks and hammers. Now there's color lines. Black on black crime. People colorblind. There's a grind like no other grind. Time's like like no other con, sweating and bleeding for another dime. Now I know why these addicts keep fiending for another line to get away from the madness, pain and sadness. Cover the atlas, try escaping this bad trip. Citizens lost at the bottom of the map, trying to make it out the trap. It's not sunny, it's not funny. All is double talking among the nation and every congregation. 99.9% .9 of these conversations, all of these statements like Haitians and Asians shouldn't be dating whites. Half of these countries live in a racist life. Dumb enough to think segregation could make it right or 15 or 16 wrongs could ever make a right these are the facts of life for more than blacks and whites and no approximate bull crap exact precise churches homes and little children been sacrificed adolescents beaten to death with bats and pipes and most americans do not care say that they never judge the next man and know that they blowing hot air it's not fair but homie is evident i got the same skeletons i'm living evidence here's a lesson kid from crack addicts to black latins to want to be Thugs. Every living thing on this planet just want to be loved, and that's real. Scene cuts to black background with white lettering revealing the title God and Faith. There are two camera views throughout this scene. One front still stationary tripod camera and one mobile camera circling around 180 degrees. Stationary camera's frame is set from the waist to a little above the head. Just Incredible is standing in an open room evenly spaced out side by side with a small business owner named Daryl Wright. Daryl is holding 
a white poster with the phrase God and faith written on it. He is five feet, 11 inches tall, has light olive skin, a low dark brown haircut and brown eyes. Daryl is Caucasian. He's wearing a teal and gray crew neck graphic t-shirt with light blue jean shorts. They are both standing in front of a large horizontal painting that displays a 360 degree pan view of an Everglades area with trees, birds, huge clouds, and sun rays throughout. The time of day appears to be either sunrise or sunset. This display is sectioned off and has 10 spotlights from left to right shining on it. All eyes to the skies, don't be surprised. Words of the wise, observe the sun when it rises. No assumptions or introductions expected. Locally rejected, not overly accepted. People spit in his face, was locked up, arrested. Light of the world, wide as a pearl, just reflected. The one-way direction, some say perfection. My source of protection, when it gets too hectic, if you can see it, the only reason that we connected. Who do you believe in? Who can you connect with? Haters, traitors, instigators, players, school face or just two face spectators how about somebody who did whatever he told you from the beginning till it was over maintain his composure remain a soldier named jc jehovah way before jay-z was hover meet the strongest man that ever lived and never died now forever lives in heaven's skies did it as a gift just so we can live better lives recognize read and weep the sweet lips that never lie and yes i work for him and yes i worship him spiritual or lyrical whatever works for him the big papa's big Big Papa, a Rick Rasta, mobster, Rasta's legit opter, abandon the land of the lost, fight for what's right like the son of man on the cross, win against sin, handle a loss, iceless, priceless, kiss the hand of a boss, switch the fantasies off, don't wear that chain in vain for vanity's cost, 50 grand can it be floss, step your game up, throw the set from what you claim up, Jesus fell down but came up, resurrected, respected. Scene cuts to a black background with white lettering revealing the title, Society's Forgotten and Overlooked. There are two camera views throughout this scene. One front still stationary tripod camera and one mobile camera circling around 180 degrees. Stationary camera's frame is set for a 180 degree pan view, left to right and from the front carpet of the room to one third of the ceiling above head. Just Incredible is standing evenly spaced out side by side with a man whose face is not revealed throughout this scene. The man is holding a poster with the phrase society's forgotten and overlooked written on it. He appears to be approximately six feet tall, have light olive skin and Caucasian. He's wearing a white long sleeve button up dress shirt, a gray, white, navy blue and royal blue striped tie a silver band, silver wristwatch, and a black blazer. They are both standing in a room with red walls, 11 small black framed paintings on the back wall, three small black framed paintings on their left hand side, and four black framed paintings on their right hand side. The camera view is too far to distinguish what is being displayed on any painting. Saddest thing is shattered dreams and battered teens. Gas is up, taxes up just to add to things. I'm mad it seems for every reason in every season. I need to realize the blessings just to be alive. I need to drive. Pass by my no good old hoods. 305, I need to heed they cry. See they grieving eyes. People left with less than nothing. Overseas stressed and suffering. I so just messed up. Chest is gushing. No one to ease or relieve this pain. Even at least explain these tragedies. Recent planes, flames. Are these illusions of night? man's confusion is quite clear we humans and right here with open arms and a helping hand right here's a shoulder to cry on lean over and die on i will console you in my arms trust no matter what color what case what place or what race throughout the drama rain do not slip up remember i'm here for you baby do not give up and through these lyrics i move your spirit nothing can ever break us away i pray you make it today please believe for single mothers working five to five those who not alive will just feel they alone you're forever 
on my mind. For adolescents going through depression and they need someone to pick up the phone, you're forever on my mind. For those who lead a hopeless life, who drink and smoke dope just to cope with life, you're forever on my mind. Don't stop believing, continue to fight. You are the reason I continue to write. In this concrete jungle, struggling, stumbling, stomachs rumbling, crumpling, hatred and population is doubling. Blood is bubbling from west to east. Terrorism, we can't rest in peace. Threats increase. Someone should bless these streets. And in addition to this desert storm, some wishing they was never born. There's a new terror, a new era. God, just let your love just rain down above us. Aim now. Hover over us. Hug us. Cover us from the rain now. I speak for those who can't speak for themselves. Young victims of drive-bys who can't eat by themselves. Personally, I wish that I could breathe for them, bleed for them, plead for them, give them some motivation to keep going. Meg, Gutton, Martin, they took bullets from me and rep my peoples to the fullest degree. Locked behind bars just so I could lift my voice, so I can marry anybody, baby. It's my choice. Down in the street, I can ride my bike. I can shine my light. Freedom of speech, baby, that's why I write. When society's on the next topic, next profit, no do it together all the time. And you're forever on my mind. Scene cuts to a black background with white lettering revealing the title, The Come Up. There are two camera views throughout this scene. One front still stationary tripod camera and one mobile camera circling around 180 degrees. Stationary camera's frame is set to mid leg to about seven feet above head. Just Incredible is standing evenly spaced out side by side with videographer and small business owner Carlos Medina Jr. Carlos is holding a white poster with the phrase the come up written on it. He is five feet three inches tall, has olive skin, tattoo sleeves on both arms, a large dark brown and black beard that stretches to the top of his sternum, a dark brown goatee, and dark brown eyes. Carlos's nationality is Puerto Rican. He's wearing an olive crew neck t-shirt, ripped and lightly frayed blue jeans, a camel colored knitted beanie hat, small black gauge earrings, a large silver cross chain, a black and silver faced silver colored silver metal linked banded watch on his left wrist, a silver ring on his left middle finger and a black wedding band tattoo on his left ring finger. He is also wearing a black and white rubber wristband on his right arm and a large square silver ring with a red stone on his right ring finger. They are both standing at the top of one staircase level and in the middle of a bridged area of two staircases that are facing each other and are connected. The back wall to this open area is white and has six gold framed paintings on it. Two large gold framed paintings above the left and right staircases and one extra large gold framed painting above a small gold framed painting directly in the middle of the connected staircases. Each painting appears to display Florida outdoor nature scenes. Underneath the left and right staircases are a gold framed painting that is cut off from the shot. Under the left and right staircases are each a gold framed painting that is cut off from the camera shot. After Just Incredible is finished, Carlos pauses in shock and then drops the sign. Just Incredible lets out bursts of laughter. They both shake hands with a side hug. Just Incredible hits Carlos's chest and they both walk down the staircase grinning and giggling. Credits roll until end. End fades out black. I know a whole lot about being rejected, disrespected, like your destiny has been intercepted. Nobody's checking for your press kit. They don't fool with your music because it's too eclectic, nothing to step with. Radio say it ain't the best fit because it don't sound like the next hit won't make it to the request list. Now you regret everything you've invested. People flooding you with bloody suggestions and questions. In a pool of piranhas getting your flesh bit. Shark infested, dark no exits. Comments on the internet got you feeling neglected. Wasn't what you expected. Now you introspective, smoking new ports. Coming up with new thoughts on how will I survive in this game. Carry the blue torch. 
Black and miles blacking out for a few minutes. Black and proud, acting wild was a true menace. A young general, a lieutenant, trust I got on the whole arm of God. This is not a facade. I studied this rap game. Lauded all of my secret weapons. In 2007, they called me Batman. The king anointed me to bring rap justice. But I ain't 5-0 and I'm not Nas, yo. I'm just saying in my lane, trabajando. Cara on, yo. And y'all know, me llamo. El africano, americano, oye. Con increíble si es posible. No necesitan brutos terrible. Todo el mundo juntos, believe it. DK, don't you ever compare somebody to me, see? I'm an entirely different species. Lil Up North flavor, Lil Geechee. Part human, part Marvel, part DC. I got my flows from Fiji. A gallon of greatness, leader of luxury. Fortune 100 companies couldn't afford a cup of me. In this game, LeBron James couldn't block me. Mayweather could never box me at his top speed. Major record labels can't stop me. They can't control me, they can't clone me, they can't copy. So go ahead and ask any cardiologist. They can tell you that I put my heart in all of this. This is beyond profit and politics. This is bigger than critical validation and industry adaptation, because right now, there's too many ignorant opinions from critics. Too many publications with conflicts of interest in it. Too many social media mentions instead of lyrics. Too many people confusing classic with what's trending. Who said hip hop couldn't be revived? Who said every fan is deaf, dumb, and blind? Who said every rapper lacks a message and glorified crime? Who said Florida artists couldn't shine? Who said Just Incredible never had to grind? Did they see my anxiety issues in Pembroke Ponds back in 1999? Could they take a look at my checking account in 2009 when I can barely scrape the save a dime? Who said I'm too late past my prime and right now ain't my time? Who said I ain't one of a kind? Who said God didn't bless me with a beautiful mind and this wasn't all part of his divine design? Who said I ain't one of the greatest writers of all times, dead or alive? Whoever told you that, you pay them no mind. You know they lying. I'm just incredible, AKA Mr. Real Passion Flow. Let's go.